Well then, this is going to be a treat for us guys, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I could actually think of a few things why Thunderfoot is actually quite a good guy to subscribe to and to watch his videos. Now, discounting his anti-feminist and anti-social justice warrior views. Why are you discounting his anti-feminist and anti-SJW views? Are they good or bad and how so? What else can he do? Oh well, he's... If you're an atheist, you're going to love his Why People Laugh at Creationism uh, series. His Let's All Laugh at Creationist series is from years back, and creationists are easy to debunk. You don't need a series of videos to do it. You're going to love his scientific videos and his experiments. And his scientific videos are the minority of his videos and get far fewer views. As far as I'm concerned, Thunderfoot's channel is not a science channel, and the same with an EEV blog is an engineering channel. Thunderfoot's channel is a political channel. Oh, come on, Laughing Witch, take it away. To explain to them what satire is. Brace yourself, people. It's the de dictionary definition argument. Fallacy alert. Fallacy alert. Woo! 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 You're supposed to let someone speak then point out their fallacies. Now, I don't know anyone who fancies Thunderfoot or... I don't know what you mean by man, tribal man love, so I'm going to just assume you're calling us fanboys. That makes a bit more sense. I mean, what, are you trying to say that having gay feelings with Thunderfoot is somewhat wrong? That's kind of homophobic, just saying. Firstly, You've just openly admitted that you know what she means by tribal man love is that you're a fan boy. You've openly admitted to being a fan boy of Thunderfoot. And also, if tribal man love is kind of homophobic, why the kind of homophobic title to this video? Tribal lady love? If you're trying to refute her, you're supposed to be better than her. But, you know, don't, don't try and give us an argument for why we should not watch. We should not watch Thunderfoot, or why we should not hold him in high regard. Because you know, he writes pretty damn good content. I don't think she's saying that you shouldn't watch Thunderfoot. She's not telling you who you should or shouldn't watch. What she's saying is that whether you watch him or not, you should judge him critically on both his statements and his actions and come to a conclusion based on what you see. What you should not be doing is riding to the defence of Thunderfoot when he's on the receiving end of what he's been dishing out to other people all this time. But no, we're just morons, we're just idiots. You know. Yep, you're a moron, you're an idiot. So, we have baseless opinion, baseless accusations with no evidence I mean I'll how are laughing which is accusations of him harassing people baseless you see the only reason why we should not like Thund Thunderfoot is because of your personal feelings nope oh, she's explaining why she doesn't like him mocks rape victims <laughs> oh, of course of course there it is parroting the same old bullshit and the way you disprove that Thunderfoot mocks rape victims is to mock rape victims. Complete with that evil laugh to start with. <laughs> Everyone who's ever been against Thunderfoot, who is a social justice warrior, always says, yet yeah, never produces. They never ever produce evidence that he, uh, he mocks rape victims. Because bad sex is all good, am I right? Whenever it is, it's some kind of kind of edited together hobwash of things that he never said or out of context quote seriously come up with something better come on Thunderfoot's videos are full of edited hogwash taken out of context if that's good enough coming from Thunderfoot why does Laughing Witch need to do any better he is most incompetent douchebag he's anything but incompetent oh look at him he's just He's just so competent. I mean, look at the way he works that mathematics and science and stuff. He's, he's just so handsome. He's like, like the epitome, like the essence of manliness, you know, you know, like, like brute or high karate. Je viens. 
and you disprove Laughing Witch's assertion of you having a tribal man crush on Thunderfoot by demonstrating your tribal man crush on Thunderfoot. So if anything, that's projection so far. All I've seen is nothing but incompetent argument making. Wait, this isn't even an argument at this point. This is just your personal feelings on what Thunderfoot is as a person. Yep. Laughing Witch's personal feelings on Thunderfoot that you're refuting with your personal feelings on Thunderfoot. You've not actually given us any evidence for the things that he's done, that you say he's done. You've Where's your evidence that he's a good man? You've not given us any reasons other than he's a, some kind of a horrible person, which if you actually watch his videos and follow me on Twitter, you will quickly realise that he, he isn't. He doesn't come across that way. He doesn't write that way. He doesn't present himself to be a horrible person. He's not like Davis Arini. Horrible people never present themselves as such. They're not going to admit to it. They're not going to walk up to you and say, Hello, I'm a cunt. They're going to try and convince you that their horribleness is based on things that you find valuable, like logic and reason and science and the greater good. If you follow him on Twitter, you'll see him mocking abuse victims to score political points. Also, do you have any other reasons for disliking Davis Arini other than Thunderfoot don't like him? I mean, hey, you hate Davis, but you also hate Thunderfoot. Yeah, Thunderfoot hates Davis. If anything, you guys should be thankful that Davis and Thunderfoot don't like each other and that Thunderfoot is calling Davis out on his bullshit. Yeah, just because Thunderfoot doesn't like Davis doesn't mean Thunderfoot isn't a horrible person. Also, Thunderfoot has ideological reasons to not like Davis Arini. Arini is a Christian fundamentalist. Thunderfoot is an atheist. There's also other reasons that are rather less than ideological. Both Thunderfoot and Orini are trying to raise money from much of the same audience on the internet. They are competing with each other for that audience. Human nature by its definition is very tribal. And just as tribalism is part of human nature, so is factionalism. Disagreements happen between people who share much of the same beliefs, and people split around those divisions. People will often group with people who share the same beliefs, the same lifestyles, the same morals. That's how civilization began, because humans are tribalistic. You cannot say that that is the reason why we fail as human beings, why we should not like Thunderfoot, either as a person or his videos because why else would we not like his videos because we share the same views as him and we think thunderfoot's views are bullshit it's like t telling a manchester united fan and a manchester city fan to stop supporting football or they're too close because they're tribalistic morons if you think of political issues as being the same as football teams you're a mong todd i'm sorry but there's no other way to address it if you're basing your politics around your views and beliefs and experience, then you can be reasoned with. But if you're treating Thunderfoot like a sports team, you are literally wrong in the head in the most fundamental way. That's the whole point of, of being a football fan, supporting a football team. Supporting a football team is not based on any form of logic or reason. It's purely down to familial or community ties. For example, which football team do you think I support? The chances are you'll judge me by my accent and assume that I'm either a Newcastle or a Sunderland supporter. Maybe a Borough fan. And you'd be right, I'm a Newcastle fan. There's no logical reason for me to support Newcastle other than an accident of birth. But people in the same town as me are Mackhams. There are people in the same town as me who are Liverpool fans or Man United fans due to those clubs being the most successful at the time when they picked a team to support. But the thing is, even though those clubs have fallen from favour, they still support those clubs. You can't reason with a Newcastle fan to suddenly support Man City or Arsenal, but you can reason with a men's rights activist into at least not being an anti-feminist. If you have your faces rivals and you want to have a, have a match where they get absolutely beat so you can take the piss out of them and be part of a group. So just to be honest, the only reason why you express the views you express is to be part of a group? You Uncle Tom Gunga Din knob muncher. You will espouse views that go against your own personal interests just so you can be friends with people who couldn't give a fuck about you and actively hate you. You pathetic waste of humanity. So we're stupid for being fans of a YouTuber 
he was accused of lying about cancer. Or he was accused of using his father's cancer to garner sympathy and con people into donating to his Patreon. You know, in the same way that Anita Sarkeesian is accused of conning people into donating to her Kickstarter. Yeah, apparently lying about cancer was just satire, it was just a joke. When there was hardly anything remotely satirical about that video and nothing remotely satirical about what Jenny McDermott has been doing. That's because you don't know what satire means. Actions speak louder than words. Thunderfoot's actions and the actions of his farm boys, you included, speak volumes. Your lord and saviour is being judged by his own standards. North Korea, for example, is a supposedly a democratic republic, yet we know full well it isn't. And what does North Korea have to do with it? And we, we know that the USSR wasn't democratic, yet by their dictionary standards, they were. By their definition, they were. The USSR is a bad example. The USSR meant the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. By anyone's definition, the USSR were a union, they were socialist, and they were republics. Why pick the USSR, not the German Democratic Republic? And that's the bottom line. You are dumber than a box of fucking rocks. Oh, I can feel the salty tears pouring down. No tears from laughing witch, unless you went off and cried tears after finishing this video. And oh my god, laughing witch and no self-awareness shocker. I think she is more self-awareness than you. I would also like to add that if Bewildered Ape were to change his image from a chimpanzee to Jessica Rabbit, you would give him all of your money and you would think he was the king of the universe. Now, according to you social justice warriors, that is some heavily sexist stuff. Yep, Laughing Witch is implying that you are sexist. Is she wrong to assert that? Care to provide a counterpoint, bearing in mind you're an anti-feminist? Because that implies that just because that if Bewildered Ape happens to put a load of tits in front of us, we'd like all the stuff he'd say as if we won't be listening to him, or we would be listening to him, make the same stupid shit that he says, yet we'd like it because Jessica Rabbit. How many times when presented with a woman talking about anything, have you completely ignored what she says and commented on her appearance? Bewildered Ape could have Mercedes Carrera's tits out in, in full display. Yep, why did you particularly mention Mercedes Carrera? Ah yes, yeah, she's a porn star who seems a lot of gold in them there misogynist hills. The very definition of a fake geek girl. Only this time, a fake anti-feminist girl. Using her womanly wiles to garner attention and money from true and honest young boys. Yet you allow her to do that. You feed her gorgeous. Why? Because she provides you with an approving masturbatory outlet. She tells you that it's alright to crank one out over something you loathe and despise. She tells you that it's totally not your fault that you hate your own sex drive. And her tits end up comforting you, like you desperately wished your own mother's tits could have comforted you because you still resent her for you haven't been a bottle fed baby. While expressing disgust at other people's mothers breastfeeding while his monotonous kiwi drone. Monotonous kiwi drone. Not that you're racist or anything. Talks the absolute bullshit that he does, and nobody would agree with him on our side. We wouldn't. You, are you? 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 Are you seriously that unaware of what you just said? You're completely unaware of everything you've ever said. I mean, you're not saying that that if he said something different, we'd agree with him. You. This this doesn't even make sense. This is stupid. You're calling us moronic, yet you're you're saying shit like this. Really? Look in the mirror your own yourself. Jesus Christ, Lord! I look into your eyes and see that you don't even believe the shit you come out with. He came on one of my videos and trolled me, and he's trolled several other high-profile YouTubers that I follow. I me, mean, I'm not high-profile. I'm not trying to say that I am. He's trolled their videos, he's trolled Sargon, he's trolled Skeptor. He oh, the bewildered ape troll you and your friend? Allow me to quench my thirst on your salty tears. He, what, he said he'd rape Karen Strawn. Yep, threatening to rape Karen Strawn. By Karen's own standards, that's not a serious threat. She said repeatedly that rape threats over the internet should not be taken seriously. Again, 
He's using her own logic against her. But not with that video. Paul's law cannot be in effect there. I'm sorry, but he wasn't satire. Son, you don't know what satire means. He didn't even meet any of the comedic standards for satire. What are the comedic standards of satire? Seeing as you're such an expert. Because Bewildered Ape was being a, an idiot. If Bewildered Ape was being an idiot, then your Lord and Saviour is also an idiot. The phrase, hoist by your own petard, means nothing to you. Kind of like you're accusing us of. And it's funny that you call us tribalistic. <laughs> you are tribalistic. And not only that, you're expressing opinions you don't even agree with just to stay in favour with your best friends. I have to hand it to you. Fucking amazing, love. Laughing witch, you have gone full Macintosh. Well done. You have reached the level of Jenny already. You could easily surpass her in the next couple of minutes. Let's find out. You're already at full Macintosh. Fuck you. Oh, oh, I hit a nerve there, didn't I? <laughs> Let's hear that again, folks. Personal attacks much? God, these pauses. You're having a go at pauses? I know I pause a lot, but at least I try to jump cut them every now and then. That just because that someone has accused someone of lying, therefore... Oh, let me start that again. Okay, so we're stupid for pointing out the very, very... Oh, for God's sake, Chris, come on. Grasping for straws much? There's not a single jump cut in this entire video. That just because that someone has accused someone of lying, therefore... Oh, let me start that again. Okay, so we're stupid for pointing out the very, very... Oh, for God's sake, Chris, come on. Yeah, you do know she goes out live and unscripted, right? And it's only audio. It's not like many people are going to notice. I know you can argue, yeah, but you're, you're always messing up your speech patterns and you always make pauses. Yes, but I just admitted that and I tried to make amends. That just because that someone has accused someone of lying, therefore... Oh, let me start that again. Okay, so we're stupid for pointing out the very, very... Oh, for God's sake, Chris, come on by practicing all the time in the mirror and also jump cuts and editing I don't think you understand how to do that that just because that someone has accused someone of lying therefore oh, let me start that again okay so we're stupid for pointing out the very very oh, for God's sake Chris come on but I've seen you and countless other social justice warriors do that I've never met a single Thunderfoot fan that's ever done that. I've never seen Thunderfoot do what you say you do. He does. It's just see, you never have any evidence, you guys. You just don't. Where's your evidence? You're fooling nobody. You're fooling nobody. When you go on camera, can look into your eyes and see that you absolutely do not believe what you are saying. There is no conviction in what you are saying. You have the cold, dead eyes of a hardened prostitute turning tricks for nothing than their own survival. You just, just, just admit you don't like him, and that's why we shouldn't like him. We have no objection to people liking Thunderfoot if they can square that with their conscience and truly believe in what he says. It's when they follow him because he's the head of their tribe. That's when we have problems. And then that's it. We can accept that, but no, you have to put all these other bullshit excuses in to try and legitimise your hatred. You don't need to legit necessarily legitimise your hatred for him. You can't irrationally hate something, you know. In the same way that you irrationally follow something. Now, this isn't even about Jenny, really, is it? This is just about your hatred for Thunderfoot and, to a lesser extent, your woman love of Jenny McDermott. Woman love. Isn't that apparently a little bit homophobic? Just saying. You're the ones doing the videos about him. We're the ones doing the videos about the videos that you do about him. So you're doing videos about him? And again, you're doing these horrible gross generalisations that Thunderfoot's audience is all 15 year olds. When actually most of them are adults, such as me, you know? <laughs> no matter how many insults you can throw into this, how much hatred you can put into it, the fact remains, people like Thunderfoot 
and a hell of a lot more people like Thunderfoot than they like you or Jenny McDermott. The people have spoken. Nope, you're an adult. You know the square root of jack shit. Nope, you have spoken. Thunderfoot's an actual physicist. He could actually help people past ninth grade or whatever the fuck that is. What, year 10? He could actually help someone pass that physics test or science test, you know? Thunderfoot is a chemist. I thought you'd know that. Also, how does his masses and masses of anti-creationist and anti-feminist videos help you with GCSE science? How do his qualifications in chemistry qualify him in any way at all in talking about social science? You are aware that's not his level of expertise, yeah? They're not telling us anything. They're just trolls. Or wannabe trolls. Right, so does that make Thunderfoot a troll? This is the thing about the internet. You can dismiss anyone you don't agree with as being a troll. No further thinking necessary. Why bother to challenge your own opinion? Or just people who are just batshit insane social justice warriors. Again, anyone you disagree with is batshit insane. No introspection necessary. And stop peddling this satire thing. It's not satire. You don't know what satire is. And even, you, you, even if you did, stop using it as an excuse for their abhorrent behaviour. No, just use it as an excuse for Thunderfoot's abhorrent behaviour. Don't make a video about us. That That is trying to impress your senpai. And why do you think anyone's trying to score points with Jenny McDermott? Why do you think she's anyone's senpai? Unless Thunderfoot's your senpai. If you excuse his harassment of other people... Citation needed. And then blame Bewildered Ape and Jenny McDermott for turning the tables on him. Which they never did. They were the ones doing the bullying and the harassment. Because 32 videos dedicated to one person is not bullying. See, this is, this is what bullies do, isn't it? It's not them who's doing the bullying. It's the bullied who did the bullying. This is standard tactics that you guys always pull on us again and again and again. It's projection. Stop it. You can't fool us. But then again, there's something about you which I think you, you, you've taken this hook, line and sinker to quote Bewildered Ape. The same way you swallowed Thunderfoot's cock hook, line and sinker. You know, you're the ones who are either fooled or for some reason just believe these people without actually thinking about what they say. And the same way that you just believe everything Thunderfoot says without thinking about what they say, or in your case, against your better judgement. I've watched all of Thunderfoot's videos where watched all his videos but your tot's not a fanboy and that jenny mcdermott is awesome even though she doesn't actually tell us why jenny mcdermott's awesome other than the fact that she knows the dictionary definition of satire but doesn't actually know how to apply it to actual satire you haven't told us why thunderfoot is awesome other than you love him and we should be born a girl so you could have his thunder babies